All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how I select my breeding pairs, not just my breeder, the type of breeder I look for. When I select the breeder, the breeder should accommodate the other bird, which being the hen or the cock. So there's a balance in between that I use. First off, it's a body type and feather quality. And of course, temperament is the number one thing. But as you guys can see, the birds are real calm, so that's not something I have to show you. Okay, so this cock bird here has real nice type, real nice quality, nice temperament, just great all around bird. His performance was A1. He was a nice 40 foot spinner, real nice control, flew him out two seasons going into his third, but I didn't want to lose him, so I stocked the bird. He's a 2016, and he actually was part of a kit that won uh, an MVP trophy out of 16 clubs here in California. And he was also selected by a few of the judges like Robert Parker, Dwayne Holmes, and a few other guys that like that really liked him out of the air so here's the hen the hen is a real nice red mixed wing hen she was a solid 30 40 foot spinner effortless real nice hen everything you'd want to look for so in both of the birds i look for feather quality um, structure, temperament, and type. So all those things have a different characteristic where the bird is show you, kind of like her, she's showing you her wing positioning. Her flights are nice, sharp, and thin. And her herself, she's a, a small to medium-sized bird. So because he's a little bit bigger in size, which is what I look for in the cockbirds, I look for medium-sized cockbirds that show great strength. Because we want the cockbird to reproduce his strength onto all his offsprings. Reason being, my hens are nice and frequent. They're not strong hens. They're real, I want to say soft in character. I don't like hard character pigeons. So it creates a balance once the birds produce their babies. They create the inner medium size because she's a little bit smaller than him. And then because of the character that they both carry, they don't produce me overly strong pigeons. I bred out of this pair before, about 10 babies, and I've got a good reading on both of them. So that's why I went ahead and showed you guys this pair. So I'll show you some of the qualities that I look for. Okay, so first, the bird has to have the one feather tail, meaning she has to show strength, keeping it together, all one piece, as you guys can tell. Even when she's flexing, she's keeping it one piece. Okay, then we're looking for the sharp flights. She's going through the molt right now. She should be dropping that first one as these are already brand new and came in. Then another thing I look for in all my birds is their eye. They have to have that clean eye. The eye can tell you a lot about a pigeon. The cleaner and the more clear the eye is, says a lot about the pigeon. How filtered is the breeding behind the pigeon? at least in my birds. Yeah. 
I'll be showing you guys a cockbird now. As you guys can see, the one feather, what a lot of guys call popsicle tail. When a bird can hold its tail this tight into one feather, that shows strength in, in their back. This tail is what pulls out of the spin. They need to have as much strength as they can have back here. And the one feather tail will show you versus a bird that sits with his tail like this. The bird is showing you that he doesn't have the strength on his back because his tail is sloppy. When a bird tucks his tail in one feather like this, it's showing you the strength back there. Now, flights, same thing. Sharp flights. Want to make sure they're nice. The quality, the way everything is. This is nothing. I, I didn't do this. This is just a quality pigeon holding itself the way a bird should hold itself. And now his eye. Real nice, clean, clear eye. So both birds have to carry what you look for in order to reproduce it. If both parents don't carry what you're looking for, you will not reproduce it. You cannot fix a pigeon. If there's some, if a bird has a fault, you're not fixing the fault. If you think you're gonna fix a fault with this bird on her, it's not gonna happen. If you think you're gonna fix his faults with her or vice versa, it's not gonna happen. Both birds have to have the quality. So if you guys start with one pair, uh, or two pair, three pair, however many pair you go through and find, good. But you cannot fix a bird with another bird. You have to breed a quality bird to a quality bird to reproduce good quality pigeons. So this is just the way I select my birds. There's no set way. There are guys that pick their birds in different styles and methods. My main criteria to select a pigeon is temperament, quality, and the spin. If they don't have those three things, I can't put those two birds together. So I hope this helps you guys for the, anybody out there watching. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think.